San Diego County is cracking down on vaping. Supervisors narrowly passed a ban on electronic smoking devices and flavored tobacco products today. 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is live downtown. Anthony, local business owners say this isn't over yet. Well, that's right. Supporters of the ban say it's meant to protect kids, but local vape shops say that they're not just going to accept this. They're looking at all options at fighting this ordinance. Vapor invasion in San Diego sells several vaping products and accessories. Owner James Mitchell stands by all of them. He is the vice chair for Communities for Safer Vaping. They are disappointed to hear the county is putting a one-year ban on the sales of electronic smoking devices, as well as a ban on the sales of flavored and smokeless tobacco products. Neither one of them have contributed to any of the illnesses and deaths. County Supervisors Nathan Fletcher, Diane Jacob, and Greg Cox voted for the ban in a three to two vote. Nathan Fletcher and Diane Jacob want to lump everything together and consider it vaping to when they need to be separating the issues to inform the public that THC cartridges that people can vape is the main issue, not nicotine e-liquids. And he says the main problem are with products bought outside of stores. The majority of the issues stemming from the illnesses and deaths are happening because of black market product. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher says there's no difference. There is no FDA testing. There's no CDC testing. There's no regulatory framework. We don't know anything about these. So whether you buy it online or you buy it in a nice shop with a wonderful person who sells it to you, it is the same unregulated, untested product. Fletcher considers the ban on flavored products a blow to big tobacco. Now they're back investing and funding the vaping industry uh, with flavors like cotton candy and bubble gum. Five million kids are now vaping. That's double the number from the year before. Mitchell stores within San Diego city limits, so the ban won't apply to him. But it says it will hurt 40 or so family businesses in unincorporated San Diego County. They are considering all options now, including legal action. Now this ban will also apply to outdoor smoking at restaurants. It's all scheduled to take effect July 1st. We're reporting live tonight, Anthony Pura, 10 News. Anthony, thank you. Now